you should be here. We're in Alberta and we're the Canadian team. We got pretty much uh, all Canadian ingredients you got. You got all Thank you very much. Tonight uh, we're eating a bouillabaisse, a traditional French dish uh, from south of France. French team always win. Good. It looks quite dainty in particular here. Yeah, okay, so it's uh, basically a cold version of lamb and mint. What's the main act? No, that's that. Come on now. <laughs> So we took these elements of elk, something that we would hunt, rhubarb and beet reduction. It's topped off with a smoked bison pemmican. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Wow. That's delicious. What's this squiggly thing doing there? I don't really know. What's the standard of talent? It's very good. It's very, very this good. This is delicious. Lamb and mint, classic. I love the mint. Like, it's my kind of dish. Passion is the magical ingredient to creating great food. Hammer and Coach is all about, we always say it, remarkable dining experiences. What do we call this? Canmore Hawaii? Uh, it's it's, it, it's Canmore Uncooked. The long table dinner. Fellas, you should be here. If you didn't get your ticket by Christmas, you wouldn't be here tonight, right? I think the event sold out in two weeks. We planned really early. We weren't going to miss it. Did you come hungry? Yes, I am. I'm always hungry. Every restaurant in town has an opportunity to participate in a long table dinner. They get a chance to propose a dish, anything from dessert, cocktails, palate cleansers, protein, salads, and then uh, you get selected to be part of the long table dinner. One, two, three. Gold Gates, Pesky Peg, Home Center, Open Road. There you go. Everything to do with beer is fun. So cowboy ale means it's for a thirsty guy and a big guy. You think it's going to stack up? Do a colch? You do a colch? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not a lager though. When are you growing up for the lagers and the pilsners? So we do have a pilsner. How's it going so far? It's, we love it. It's been such a fun thing. It's a family owned and operated brewery. You're the brewer as well? Yeah. You're the owner as well? Yeah. That's the way we like it, eh? Yeah. I'm trying to grow my beer. It's not working. You got to eat more bacon. This is the Whiskey and Spirits Festival, and we have 16 tables of distributors and distillers who are here. I suggest you come on in. There's some interesting rumor doing the round that you guys are already aging some whiskey. Uh, yeah, we're putting some away in a barrel. It's all about getting creative with what you can do to add to your spirits. Añejo needs to be one year to less than three years, an extra añejo more than three years. Well, we have six turkeys. Uh, they all gobble in different ways. It's a good entry level to get women into whiskey. The drinks here are delicious. So many interesting flavors. It's amazing. She's in Scotch Corner. I'm in Tequila Corner. Have you traveled just for this, or is it just sort of the weekend? We came here just for this. Yeah, just for this. This is the wine festival, so we have 24 yes. different wine vendors here and each of them is serving somewhere between four and eight wines. If you look around the room, you'll see this is predominantly a female dominated event. That's why we came. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alberta wine. Absolutely. All this fruit is grown in Alberta and it's all made on our farm east of Calgary. I'd love the Carbonier. Where's the Malbec? I don't have a Malbec. This is from Chile, not Argentina. So it's all that bright fruit, it's got layers of spice, but all the bright acidity balances it out. So all of our wines are coming from one of our six vineyards. Wine Diva's Calgary. weekend. Wine Diva weekend. That is a fantastic Malbec. That's a Wine Spectator, top 100 best buy for 2016. This wine was selected by the Calgary Stampede. Oh, the, oh, oh, the door. <laughs> it's tonight the night you're doing everything. Uh, we're doing the progressive amazing race. We're trying to do all four progressive dinners in one night. This is a very complicated dish. A jackfish served with an avocado mousse, fresh radish, a little bit of crumbled pistachio. Chez Francois. I'm gonna get some of this puree that you have. We don't get enough lamb in Alberta. I love it. Alberta brisket, but it comes with Yorkshire pudding. Come with us. What's your favorite part of this dish? Favorite? Yeah. The Yorkie. There you go. Hello. Hi. We heard truffle mushrooms. There's something missing in this whole conversation. The wine? There you go. The wine is very important. This is what you need to know about the Wood Restaurant. In summer, there's no place on this patio because of that view. I'm going to steal a little of this banana and then the rest is all yours. Who came up with the banana idea? Uh, that was my chef, Evan. We decided to go with a s'more tart. It's a chocolate hazelnut ganache. It's done with a lavender balsamic, just to give it a little bit of acidity. If you had any doubt, Canmore's dining scene is absolutely vibrant. I think how many great dishes they come up with. 
It's Camera on Cork 2017. We're signing off for the progressive dinner. You, you should, should be, be here. here. I'm inviting the whole town. I'm inviting the whole province. Awesome. You should be here. And it just keeps on getting better. We're so glad you join us for this.